The world needs you to be strong. You need yourself to be strong. You need Your family needs you to be strong. I need you to be strong. And in turn, you need me to be strong. In turn, I need my family to be strong. In turn, I need the entirety of the fucking society that we live in. I need them to be strong. But, you know, we see all these things everywhere that, you know, we realize we've seen all those fucked up things. We've seen all those pussified people. All those shells of the people of like these ghosts just living life like on an auto mode like having no fucking true life right you know those people right and we think to ourselves well we need those we need to be strong right but those people they're not strong for me so why should i be strong for them maybe you're thinking to yourself well because you have to be the change that you want to see in the world you know, there's this quote, be the change that you want to see in the world. I agree. You know, because if we all, literally, if we all act like that, if we all act like, bro, you know, this guy, he didn't do this for me, or this girl, she didn't do this for me, and I should do, I. so why would I do this for her? Or, you know, all these kinds of, I don't know, situations, right? But in the end, those people didn't do it for you because those people, they're brainwashed, they... They've lived their entire lives on auto mode, or autopilot, just with no real emotions for themselves. Controlled by the society, controlled by the media, controlled by everything out there, controlled by the fucking propaganda, right? But you are not. You're starting to take, take a step away from that, right? You're t- starting to take action against it. So we should be like people like me, people like you, people like both of us, people in our community, people like on this YouTube channel. We must rise together, we must stand strong and we must start being the change that we want to see in the world. We must be strong for the world because we are the next men in line. Like, I don't think we... This might be something that you've never truly thought about up until this point, right? Right now, think about it. We are the next men in line. I mean, yeah, we'll have our parents and the people their age for a while. Like, they'll be around for a while. But sooner or later, you know, we'll end up... They will end up being older and older and older and older until they're no longer going to be capable of working. They'll be old and they won't be able... They'll retire, whatever. And then it's us. No, I'm not saying that we're gonna have to keep. We're not gonna have to like slave our lives away for some bullshit. No. But we must be strong. We must be young, masculine men right now, so that we can, in turn, improve the world in the future. You feel like, you know, this is not, like, it doesn't really matter right now. Think of your family, bro. Think of your fucking future family. Think of your children. Think of those people, bro. Would they want you to be this pussy? Would they want you to be, like, at 40 with, like, a fucking beer belly, with low testosterone, like, divorced from your wife, divorced from from their mother, with, like, all these issues being almost like an alcoholic having all these problems bro that is what's gonna happen to you if you go down this path of just pleasure of instant pleasure of whatever bro no more no no more because if we keep doing this bro if you if you if we keep just living by this these standards, bro. We're gonna keep fucking ev- the next generation, and we're gonna fuck our children up. We're gonna convince them that it's okay to act like a pussy. That it's okay for them to do the, all these horrible fucking things that children do nowadays. No. We must be strong. We must raise our children correctly. We must 
be capable men for the entirety of the fucking world out there. We are the st structure, the skeleton of society. Men. Of course, women have their importance as well. I don't deny it, but it's men that keep all these important and like vital infrastructures in place. Like, who do you think built you, the house that you're living in? Who do you think was putting... Go <sighs> Bro, anything that you could think of, like, all the way from, like, people taking the trash. Like, those uh, trash men, you know, who, like, take the trash, right? From those people, from them to... I don't fucking know, like, the soldiers... Who are literally right now they're training with this Let's go. scratch that you didn't hear anything anyway so you know for from like the trash men who literally just take out the trash and all the way to the soldiers who are right now they're training with the thought in their mind that they are protecting their country that they will be using their life to protect you protect their family protect the citizens of their country because you know i mean yeah i could say that's kind of like brainwashing because that's not what happens in the end bro in some countries they do in some countries they don't send soldiers out to fight bullshit wars you know but it's not about necessarily about politics it's not about the logistics it's not about what happens to those people it's about what they think it's about what they what they want to do with the world how they want to see the world how they want to change the world right bro imagine life without all those necess necessity workers like like those people who literally take out the trash bro imagine if they just one day they all went out strike it's happened plenty of times before have you seen like s pictures of streets filled with trash filled with like disease and sicknesses and all kinds of shit because those people they went on strike because they weren't paid enough they were like looked down on looked down by other people we have to fucking stop this shit we have to stop this um belief that you know men are needed that is bullshit the world needs you to be strong right now You need to be strong for the world. You need to be strong for your family, for your future children. Men with big, big ambitions for the world, they will dominate. They will take what the world has to offer. Men with big ambitions, that could be you, that could be me. I am already starting to kind of try to cultivate this mindset for big ambition for big achievements right and you should start doing the same if you already haven't set set proper fucking ambitious goal for goals for yourself so, no these kinds of goals which might be slightly like unrealistic set them for yourself and literally you although you might maybe you wouldn't be able to achieve them but you know, there's cases in which people have achieved things which were literally beyond them. In every shape or form, they literally achieved them. If they did it, bro, you can. Man, I gotta sit straight. Fuck. Of bad posture. Don't mind the noise. It'll go away a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's a better posture, but... The world needs you to be strong right now. We need to start cultivate, cultivating our masculinity. Our We need to start learning our new skills. We need to start preparing ourselves. Because we are the next men in line.
And honestly, I fear for the world. I fear for myself. I fear for my family. Knowing that there's probably going to be people out there like fucking... You see all those pussy men out there. All those feminine ass motherfuckers. Who are like, just... They do nothing. But leg- Bro, what do you think is going to happen to the fucking TikTok boy? Who's like literally wearing skirts and he's fucking dancing in skirts. A boy, a man, dancing in fucking... In a fucking skirt, bro. On TikTok, like, fucking do it. Uh, what the fuck do you think those people are gonna do? Bro, they're gonna grow old. They're famous, not gonna last them forever. And... Man, I fear. I fear for myself because those people, they will be part of my... Community. Maybe. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll be able to build a community far away from people like them. But those people, they will be in somebody's community, bro. Imagine this fucking man right now who's like dancing and doing roars and... Being a fucking... Femboy, bro. Being like this fucking pussy, bro. Those people will grow up. Those people will end up having to get jobs, having to end up working jobs, doing all these things, bro. And I fear for the way that society will run in the next few years. I'm scared a little bit. That, you know, just makes me more motivated. Anyways, my parents are home, so I'll go see what they're up to. See you later, man. Good luck.